I would not want to mention any names, but uh, somebody forgot to close the chicken coop last night. I don't know who that was, but that's not good. It's not so bad here, but once we get moved, I can't be doing that. They get eat. <sighs> we'll have to talk bad about that fella. Good Monday afternoon, folks. Best laid plans of mice and men. Uh, talked about my building. Said we're gonna move my building. Gonna try and get stuff out, get it down to my tent. Get my tent set up. My tent's not set up yet. I was gonna do that today. Didn't do that. Uh, went and got my driver's license uh, in another county where I'm moving to. That was fun. You ever tried to prove where you live when the only document you got is a deed that doesn't have the actual number on it? <laughs> I got my driver's license. Um, I'm legal again. <sighs> I'm gonna have to move. Uh, every time I start talking, the breeze starts blowing. I had a plan for this week. I was gonna go put the tent on my tent frame down at uh, my farm today so I could start moving stuff out of this building down to the farm uh, maybe save a little money on renting trucks and stuff like that I can tell you now trucks aren't that expensive to rent I was actually surprised at how cheap it was to rent a truck but what I'm standing here looking at here take a look at that lovely isn't it this is my building it's 36 by 16 on Thursday of this week, it is going to leave where we're at now, and it is going to go to my farm. Now, this is an excellent, excellent thing, except for one little detail. Little, little tiny detail. See all this stuff? This building has to be empty. So, rather than doing everything else I plan to do this week, <laughs> um... Wednesday, I'm renting a truck. Uh, my daughter's coming. My wife's son's coming. I know those two will be here. And we're going to start loading the truck. Uh, I've shot for some other uh, children of mine who all said they were going to help. But, uh, well, you know, they might have to work and stuff. Unloading. My wife's son. <sighs> Turns out he's going to be the one doing all the work. Well, him and me. Uh We'll be here, and I don't know about the other one. My daughter can't do it. She thinks that just because her boyfriend uh, is doing his practicum for his EMT uh, graduation uh, Wednesday, he's got to he's got to ride on the ambulance and do all that kind of work. Says he can't be here because he's got to do that. And then Friday when we're unloading. You know, he has to take his final exam, and she thinks these are excuses not to come help me. Selfish daughter. You know she's feeling guilty right now, right? <laughs> Stupid people and having lives, trying to improve themselves. Ugh. It's getting in my way of success. Uh, anyway, now that I've had my little rant. Uh, yeah, Wednesday we're going to load all this stuff up. Thursday, I don't know what time. Uh, the guy's supposed to call me back and let me know what time he's going to be here to move it. And then we're going to move it, and it's going to be fun. A good time will be had by all. <laughs> I promise. I'm going to video it. Trust me, we're all taking this trip. It should be fun, particularly when we get down there close to the house, because I don't see this building going through that space without cutting down at least one tree. And I told him that, but he doesn't seem to think that's going to be a problem. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> I'm videoing him going through there. And you'll love his trailer. He's got one of them fancy trailers that got wheels underneath of it. You can slide stuff sideways and move stuff. It's just cool. I know this because he put this building here. So that's what's going on now. The rest of today, I'm going to go out here and move my chicken coop away from the building. Here, let's turn around and take a look. What we got to do. Uh, what I'm going to work on today. When he comes in to move the building, he's going to come in there beside that building and back up here 
to load this building on his really fancy trailer. In order to do that, I've got to get all the junk out of here. That's stuff that I can go ahead and load because it's already outside. Probably take some hay bales. I got some wood in here, get that stuff loaded. Uh, the wood's going down where my tent, it's not covered yet, but where my tent's gonna be. Uh, and I've got a lot more wood to move down there. And then I've also got to go over here. I know you can't see it, right over there. Look, there's only a wall and you're looking through, ah, never mind. Um, I've got to move the chicken coop. So he's got enough room here to pull through there. So that's what I'm going to start working on now. Uh, but that's just to get everybody caught up. <sighs> Fun stuff. we'll call it a video for today got a truckload of stuff go down to my farm uh, tomorrow I'm gonna again <laughs> yeah again try to go down and uh, put the tent on the poles that I set up the other day and get that covered and that'll give me some place to put all this wood notice I got a lovely truckload of wood <laughs> and that really is that's a lovely truckload of wood that's uh, man there's everything in there I've got American chestnut elm a lot of oak cherry walnut maple spalted maple that's some beautiful wood i mean it's a bunch of short stuff but still one of these days i plan to make magic wands out of that a lot of magic wands should have done that when harry potter was more popular right anyway that's getting me a start getting that much out uh most of the other stuff will go on the truck and tomorrow, we'll just see how much we can get done. In the meantime, my name's Mark. Just some old Kentucky home setter. You know, uh, like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that stuff. You have a blessed day. <laughs>